dubious things are afoot. We're wiring in the 80 amp fuse. Yeah. And there she is, a whole 80 amps of her. Happy days. Let's switch it on, see what happens. That's not good. Yeah, excellent. So let's uh, just fire this up. I'm gonna put my hand on the clutch. <laughs> There's no driver's seat. Engine started, SeaTech has started, and you can see here it's detected. There's uh, power coming from the alternator. So it's gonna charge the battery, the big AGM battery in here. Awesome. And then on top of that, we've got cables running up through here. Uh, coming through here. This one is uh, solar power back into the SeaTech. This one here is uh, 12 volt distribution. And as you can see, right now the SeaTech has got that battery pumped under 15.1 uh, 15 volts. And there's no current being drawn at all. Go for it. All right, okay. So, me mate Matty has made uh, something called a DC mate. And uh, this is basically a little distribution board for 12 volts. So I'm gonna just go ahead and flick the um, isolator switch down here. And then boom, look at that. So it's telling you the voltage on the battery and the current that you're consuming. It's a lovely little piece because it's got various different fuses and various different outputs on it. So, uh, so this is gonna be the distribution unit for, for the van. And there's the charge system. Awesome. Cheers, people. Fantastic. We're really getting somewhere with the wiring on this. What we've got to do now is put the seat back in and uh, we can enjoy some camping. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe. And, um, you know, maybe if you've got any questions or comments, put them in down below. Cheers. Bye for now. <laughs> so... We're installing the, um, the SeaTech charger and uh, we've had to pull the dashboard apart again. <sighs> All we need is one little cable to go to a connector that tells the SeaTech that the ignition's on. We need to gain access to the fuse box, but you gotta pull the whole dashboard apart to get to the fuse box. Anyway, bear with us. <laughs> so one, two, three, it's a five amp fuse in there. Okay, yeah, so that is camper display. So we're gonna copy out of that fuse, um, which is this guy here, camper, whoops, sorry, oops. It's all gone small, right, there it is. Camper display, fifth one down on the right. Uh, and that one appears only to come on when you turn the ignition on, which is what we wanna do to wire in the SeaTech. Oh my God, dashboard's a bloody mess again. Okay, so the SeaTech charger, this bad boy here, uh, this has two little pigtail cables on it. One of them is to connect to ground if you have an absorbent glass mat battery, which we do. So that increases the charge voltage from 14.4 to 14.7 volts to fully charge the AGM battery. And then this little cable here, this red one, this one needs to go to the ignition. So uh, what we've done is <laughs> to stop Matthew from pulling it all the way through the, through, through the truck, I've got uh, a little bit of cable there, which is feeding up under there and popping out there. And Matthew is around the other side of the dashboard, wiring that into the fuse that we mentioned earlier, which is the fifth one down from the right hand side. And this means that when you turn the ignition on, the SeaTech charger knows that the ignition is turned on and therefore it starts uh, charging the AGM leisure battery from the front battery. Woo, yeah. Car's in a mess. Okay, so connected now to that cable. I'm gonna turn the ignition on, and there's the ignition on. And we can see that we've got voltage there now. Turn the ignition, turn the keys off and remove them. Okay, and there we go, we shut down. 
So that's good enough for me, I'm happy with that. So CTEC charger then, we've got the red cable which is connected to the battery. As you'll see here, it says A plus in. We've got the negative cable here which is connected to a stud down here. Uh, in the uh, underneath the driver's seat. So that's the chassis of the car effectively uh, The output of this will then go to The AGM battery that's going to sit in here that you've seen before and if you've got a solar panel you connect it to this um, So uh, and then the other thing we need to do is connect this guy to here to show that it's a uh, AGM battery because it's a higher charge voltage I mentioned earlier and the white cable is going to get connected to here, um, to this little red cable here, to show that the ignition's on and the CTEC should go ahead and charge the battery. And there's a few little indicators on the top of it which will show you the state of play and uh, whether or not there's an error and all that kind of good stuff. Right, so I'm gonna get some crimping done. Just pop that bad boy in the crimp tool, make sure that the cable is in approximately the right place. And squeeze hard. <sighs> There we go. And so yeah, that's crimped on. So all we're doing now is just making a little uh, pigtail, little loop cable, which will go between here and ground. Uh, in fact, I'm going to use this one to go directly to the big battery because the big terminal, big cable is what you want for the big battery. And this is limited to 20 amps uh, charge rate. So, uh, so this will be just fine on here. Thank you very much to Matthew for bringing those little crimp terminals around. There's some more little inline crimps here that we're going to use to connect um, this cable to the white cable in just a few seconds and a few more of those little crimps. So those, those are crimps and they're dead easy to use and you just need a little crimp, a little ratcheting crimp tool like that. Okay, so this is the AGM battery. You've seen that before, it lives under the driver's seat. Uh, currently it's at 12.5 volts. I've got that connected via two dragon clips or crocodile clips to the battery and there's the CTEC. Before we reassembled everything, we thought we'd better give it just a quick test. So this is the output from the CTEC connected to the positive terminal right here. Um, this, uh, the negative from the CTEC, it gets connected via a thin cable to the chassis. Again, thin cable because the maximum that the CTEC will ever give this battery is 20 amps, and it's likely to be less than that anyway. Um, so, uh, and then. Into the CTEC is the connection from the, the fuse connection from the big battery uh, underneath the dash of the car. So here we go then. Let's see what happens when we turn on the power. CTEC, no lights on the CTEC, and voltage has stayed the same. That's not good. All right, so uh, <laughs> the battery, so the car, right. So the car didn't start because the battery was flat. It was about 11.5 volts. Um, we left the lights on last night uh, for quite a while and we used the radio quite a lot. And uh, yeah, silly us. Anyway, so um, we're charging things up. We've got a IMAX B6 running two amps at 12 volts via a little, oh, whoops via a little uh, laptop uh, power supply and an extension cable and all that kind of good stuff. So, whew, these things are sent to try us. Okay, so a few basic checks then. Sorry about the noise, the engine's running. We need to charge the battery. So what I'm gonna do is put a current clamp meter on the, oops, on the ground cable there. Just make sure this is set to DC voltage, uh, DC current, sorry, there it is. So we'll pop that on there, and what are we seeing? About 50 amps. So um, obviously, <laughs> obviously this battery here needed a really good charge. And then um, we just drop this down a setting, and again select DC volt, the DC current, and we'll put it around this one here. And the CTEC charger, that's the CTEC, that goes off to the CTEC. CTEC charger is pulling five amps. And we'll just double check 
that this is the case here. So the C the C Tech charger you can see here saying uh, amber light. The alternator is running, charging the battery, and the C Tech power light is on. So that's sort of promising. And let's just put this current clamp meter just to zero that up. Put that over there, and there we go. Yeah, about five amps going into going into this bad boy. So let's have a quick look at the voltage. Whoops. Can I do this one-handed? I'm not sure. No, will be the answer, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, we got uh, 15 volts going into, coming out of the CTEC, going into the Extreme AGM. So that all looks like it's working. The only test that we've got left to do is to check that this wire works. And when we turn the ignition off, the CTEC stops trying to dump charge from the from the uh, engine battery into the AGM battery. All right, I hope you're following this. It's a little bit sort of, it's not complicated, but it's um, <laughs> it's a little bit bonkers. All right, you know, questions, comments down below as always. <laughs> okay, so we've got an isolation switch there, and that's obviously green for on and red for off and on the back of there we've got an 80 amp fuse uh, dunk, there it is and then we've got a this is going to get connected up to the battery here uh, positive and negative and then we've got a good length of cable here and uh, the cable is a reasonably thick cable and that has got what kind of connector is that matt uh anderson power pole an anderson power pole connector and that's going to go um as our distribution to our distribution point inside the van so this will provide now 12 volts for uh, the lighting and everything inside the van I'm, I'm a little bit nervous that we might need to upgrade this cable to something a little bit thicker in the future just because peak times we might be pulling 15 amps but um there shouldn't be too much voltage drop across this cable, so uh, we'll get that wired in next. All right, so can you see the CTEC and the meter? Yeah, okay. So there's the CTEC charger. I'm just going to zero the uh, current meter. The CTEC has got a light on to show that it's actually uh, preparing to charge at some point. The current clamp meter on there shows that it's not drawing any significant current. Let me just uh, reset the zero point on that. There we go. Put that over there so it's drawing absolutely nothing at the moment so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll start the engine got to manually push the clutch oh engine started and you can see here then we've got an alternator flashing uh showing that uh the c tech has now recognized the fact that the engine's running and it's now charging the battery through this cable here happy days so if we put a current clamp meter on this cable it's uh charging the battery at more than two amps it's just uh uh dc zero that c tech is charging the battery at 11 amps at the moment which is fine no problem happy with that um and then when we shut down the engine and pull the key in a few seconds, you'll notice that these two amber LEDs go out. There they go. They've gone out and the C-Tech has gone back into standby. I'm happy that that's working. Good news. Right, so more of the madness then. Um, <laughs> this is the solar panel input here. And uh, that goes into the little solar panel connector there um, with a grain cable on it. Uh, the output which we haven't wired up yet oops the output from the um from the battery all of that is going under a corner and then up inside there and popping out through there so we've managed to hide all of those cables quite well which is nice Oof. and and yes and yes we've kept the isolator switch yeah isolator switch is still there and this by the way i didn't mention this earlier sorry this is the uh, thermal probe so this is the uh, temperature sensor 
for the battery. And the idea is, is uh, if the CTEC believes the battery is getting too warm because it's giving it too much drive, or if the battery is too warm in the cab itself, uh, it will uh, dial back the amount of power that it gives to the battery to charge the battery. We're filming. There it go. Yeah. It's a heavy, heavy beast. Okay, good. Right, so that's a positive, that's a negative. You positive? I'm positive. I'm positive. Oh no, it's gone under the battery. Now oh, I've got to get the battery out again. Oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> and I've lost the washer under the flap. Where's the washer? Oh. Right, stop filming. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best bit. <laughs> oh, son of a gun. We're so close. <sighs> yeah, I didn't hear it. Start recording. Uh, I started. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, oh, don't mind, I didn't put the flap down. Right, flap down. Flaps down, people. Flaps down. Right. Come on. Get out. Oh, it's a heavy little beast, isn't this is. Oh. Right, there we go, that sort of feels. It feels good, it looks level. Right, well done. Okay, you're in. Uh, right, in there so like swimwear. You're in there like swimwear. Right, um, I've got to remember what wires up to what. But I would guess that most black things, <laughs> most black things, wire up to the black terminal on the battery. So uh, there's one of those there. There's another one of those there, uh, and that's connected to the CTEC. So okay, so get that in there like that. Uh, I'm not going to do that all the way up. Just leave that like that for now, just so that we know where it is. We need to find a way to mount the CTEC. Uh, right, the CTEC, so the CTEC charge is going to go in here. Um, oh, I've just lost another washer! Oh no! I don't need them, don't need them. Oh, anyway. they, no, no, I found it, I found it, there it is. Oh, there we go, there we go. Got the washer, got the washer! Right, um, so... Is that it on the red term? On no, the... no, 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 we've got the, we've got the uh, big power. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Big yeah. power for the red terminal. Okay, CTEC out the way for right now. Uh, big power that way around. Yeah, Oops, CTEC, CTEC just uh, lit up. Okay, good. Right, so that's sort of, um, that's sort of there now. The next thing is quite how we're going to mount the CTEC right here. Yep, filming, yep. Okay, good. So we've got some foam underneath the battery to suspend the battery, and uh, uh, we've got some foam on top of the battery here. Uh, we've got a, a, a temperature sensor that we need to tape onto the battery. Uh, so I'm just going to throw a bit of tape down, put that temperature sensor on top of the battery. Heat rises, so it makes sense that the temperature sensor is flat the top of the battery. I need to just, there we go, lovely, tape that down, good. Uh, I've got a piece of wood that I've made that, um, that goes on top of all of that lot. you just got to give that a, a gentle bit of encouragement. There we go, and that as you can see will also secure the sensor. Uh, so that's all starting to look good. So we'll get those terminal protectors on. There we go, we're starting to lose the light a little bit now. We've got one there. And we've got a red one here over from the positive side. We've got a layer of foam down here just to sort of keep everything, keep everything good. Chuck another piece of wood in there. And the idea of this piece of wood is just to uh, 
keep everything there we go keep everything separated so that battery is well and truly in there layer of foam down here and uh, the SeaTech charger can reside with all of its cables down there in that little space and that and that there, that's the uh, airbag um, or seat sensor there and that is about done I might need to just sort of uh, carpet tape perhaps the SeaTech charger to this piece of wood and so there it is a SeaTech charger wired in in a pretty good spot there it's uh, it's not going to vibrate around too much the battery is quite well encapsulated in that little uh, driver's seat uh, construct and then on the front there's the isolator switch good news yeah, excellent so let's uh, just fire this up I've got to put my hand on the clutch <laughs> there's no driver's seat engine started SeaTech has started and you can see here it's detected there's uh, power coming from the alternator so it's going to charge the battery the big AGM battery in here awesome and then on top of that we've got cables running up through here uh, coming through here this one is uh, solar power back into the SeaTech this one here is uh, 12 volt distribution and as you can see right now the SeaTech has got that battery pumped under 15.1 15.1 uh, volts and there's no current being drawn at all because we haven't got anything plugged into it and this is a little charger by me mate Matt we'll probably have them on uh, sale on uh, eBay in the not too distant future so um, I'll make sure I put a link in below when that uh, when that pops up okay so here it is SeaTech charger nicely mounted in place battery AGM 110 amp hour AGM battery in there I'm just stepping in my mate Matty has made this wonderful ooh, <laughs> bit of kit uh, you know what there's a, I didn't realize there was a whole seat in the way here uh, no, that's okay it's okay no problem so there we go we can see then the voltage on the battery is 13.5 uh, volts on the AGM battery right now the current that we're drawing is um, uh, li very little it's about 100 milliamps um, it says 0, 0.0 but it was just flicking between 0 0.1 and 0, 0.0 so it's 100 milliamps and that makes absolute sense because uh, over here behind the new rib seat that we just fitted is a big hairy light that we can switch on and off remotely now obviously this isn't its final resting place we're going to make much nicer lighting in here at some point in the future but the good news is we are now prepped up and ready to put a fridge in place to put lighting in place we've got the AGM battery in place the SeaTech charger in place and also a very cool power distribution system. So Matty has invented a depressometer. It's a very beautiful depressometer, but I know that at some point that's gonna be in a cupboard and every 10 minutes I'm gonna be looking in there to see how much power everything in this vehicle is drawing from you know the fridge and you know the lighting and the the, the entertainment system and all the rest of it um so yes matty has invented a depressometer because i'll be able to watch how many amps everything is drawing every 10 minutes i'll be back there looking at it cheers people thank you very much don't forget thumbs up subscribe and um you know maybe if you've got any questions or comments put them in down below cheers bye for now dubious things are afoot we're wiring in the 80 amp fuse. Yeah. And there she is. A whole 80 amps of her. Happy days. Let's switch it on, see what happens. <laughs>